I was thoroughly surprised at how prevalent and popular almond milk was in the Middle Ages, and also how important it was in the medieval diet. Let us investigate what it was and how it was used. Hello, I am the Turnip of Terror, about to welcome be thee to my hall. Nut-based milk, especially almond milk, is not just something you find in the door of your local health nuts fridge. It would be a common and familiar product in the homes of the people in the medieval world we tend to make impressions of. Almond milk you buy from the store is surprisingly similar to the type of almond milk used in the medieval era. It isn't terribly difficult to make. You basically grind the nuts down into a meal or a powder, and then you hot or cold steep them in clean water for an appropriate amount of time. Finally, you strain the powder, and you're done. The almond milk you get from the store is made in exactly the same way. One glaring difference is the price. Think of almond milk and how it compares to cow milk at your local grocery store. Don't let these modern comparisons fool you, however. Almond milk was not a luxury for the nobility. Almonds were common and accessible and grew all throughout Europe and into England. An almond you can pack, you can store, and it can travel. It can travel all around the world in a way you could never get pre-pasteurized and pre-refrigerated milk to go. I mean, the best you could expect from animal milk was to turn it into a hard cheese or butter for long-term preservation. With cows being much less plentiful and far more costly to maintain, and the need to have access to said cow for reliable access to milk, things like almond milk were readily available and affordable and could be a staple to even the peasantry. And while almond milk itself is not terribly shelf stable, you can store an almond and then grind it and steep it and produce milk as needed on call. One of the special perks of almond, in addition to its abundance and portability and storability and convenience, was this handy religious loophole in which it existed. You see, medieval Christianity took food and its prohibitions from a religious context really seriously. And throughout the year, there were a ton of fast days where you didn't skip meals during the day, but you did abstain from meat and animal products. In addition to special edge cases where eggs and cow milk were considered meat, they were universally prohibited during Lent. So you couldn't eat meat during the Advent, on Fridays, the day before a certain Saint's Day, possibly on a Wednesday, sometimes on a Saturday. It really depends on your time and culture and what part of the world you were in. But you could use almond milk as a loophole because it's not technically milk. And for this reason, they drank it in abundance as a reliable and convenient substitute for milk at the table and in recipes while observing meatless or dairyless days. And I suspect this contributes in no small part to its enduring popularity during the Middle Ages. Cheers.